It is 822. Welcome back. We are just two days away from the world's luckiest holiday. Of course, we mean St. Patrick's Day and hundreds of thousands of people around the globe are ready to celebrate. Travel Zoo senior editor Gabe Saglier has been traveling throughout Ireland ahead of the holiday. He joins us now live outside of Dublin. Gabe, good morning. Hey, Daniel, great to, great to join you from beautiful Malahide Castle right, uh, right, right outside of Dublin uh, this beautiful afternoon. <laughs> One of the Ireland's most famous castles. Tell us about it. Oh, yeah, this is, you know, there are about 400 castles across Ireland. Some are these beautifully preserved landmarks, some of these beautiful five-star places to stay. But this is a beautiful uh, visitor attraction. And again, right outside of downtown Dublin, so super accessible. Dates back to the 12th century. So think about that, 800 years of history uh, owned by the same family, the Talbots, for much of that time. So if you're watching now, your last name is Talbot, maybe do a genealogy trip out here because <laughs> there may be a room with your name on it uh, at, this, uh, at this castle. But we're in the thick of 250 acres of park land right up against the Irish Sea. Wow. Uh, this is a very popular sort of uh, park for people to come out here, do some picnicking, walk their dogs. Uh, performers like Sting and Shania Twain and Nicki Minaj do concerts here on a regular basis. So really a hub of, of, uh, of activity and Irish hospitality. Uh, it's Malahide Castle and Gardens. Yeah, you've been on the road around the Emerald Isle for about a week. Give us a kind of couple quick highlights of that trip. Yeah, so there are a lot of folks watching right now have done the Book of Kells here in Dublin, probably one of the uh, top three attractions uh, in this city, uh, right there in Trinity College. Uh, this is, of course, the Book of Kells, uh, one of considered probably the, the greatest medieval book that dates back 1,200 years and has its own sort of storied history, it survived uh, the pillaging of, of, of Scandinavian Vikings, and it was lost for a period there, but has been at Trinity College here since the 1600s. But what's cool now is that just two months ago, they opened up something called the Book of Kells 360. This is a, a virtual experience, an immersive experience that brings this book to life. Uh, you know, when they display the book, as those of you who have been there know, they only display two pages at a time because we're talking about a 1,200 a year old book. But what this virtual immersive experience does, it brings those pages right off the, uh, the page, if you will, onto a 360 degree screen around you. And it is just a beautiful way of, uh, of learning about the history uh, and, and the sort of the the magic behind this particular book. So that's now open. Uh, if you're coming down to Dublin, it's in the in Trinity College. Uh, 25 euro gets you access to this uh, really cool, very immersive experience there with the yeah. Book of Kells. Talk about an incredible experience. St. Patrick's Day is a five-day festival there, so it's already underway. What are some of the planned activities that are on the uh, schedule? Well, you said it. It is underway now. There are parties as we speak across the, the city. The, the big event, of course, the ticket item, uh, is going to be the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade there in downtown Dublin on Sunday, March 17th. It starts at high noon. Uh, this is expected to be the biggest parade yet. You know, uh, more than 4,000 participants. Uh, we've got more than half a million people expected to line the streets of Dublin. Uh, the theme this year is Spark, which uh, it is a tip of the hat, if you will, to the essence of Ireland and the Irish people and that pervasive Irish hospitality. So a huge U.S. contingency as well, because a lot of marching bands from U.S. high schools and universities and colleges come out here for this parade as well. So uh, many Americans are being welcomed this uh, this particular weekend. And once that festivity is okay. over, they'll probably hang out for a couple of days, do some traveling around the country. So if I've been making some friends this morning, Daniel, these are some of the performers who will be part of the parade this year. Uh, if not this year, then come on down next year. Uh, it is a perfect place to be to celebrate the luckiest holiday of the year. All right, Gabe Saglier reporting live for us in Dublin. Thank you so much. If you're looking for travel inspiration and some great deals, we'll link you to, to Travel Zoo at fox59.com.